looking at just one more example, uh, looking for the second derivative of this f of x function. Well, uh, <clears throat> it's set to 0. So let's try to solve for an x term. <clears throat> but we have to take the second derivative of uh, f of x first. So let's take the second derivative. So starting with the first derivative, 48x cubed minus 12x plus 0. f double prime of x equals 144x squared minus 12. And we want to know that when this expression equals a 0. So let's just set 144x squared minus 12 equals to 0. Uh, divide by 12 on both sides. We have this simplified to 12x squared minus 1 equals 0. So x squared equals 1 over 12. So our answer, x is the positive and negative square root of 1 over 12. And that's just a different application of higher order derivatives where we have to solve for an x term when uh, the expression is equal to something. Um, so higher order derivatives have a lot of real world application. That's why we use them. But to physically, mathematically carry out the expression, the, the math, uh, we just need to follow the derivative rules we've already learned, the product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, and just do it multiple times. Uh, thanks for watching educator.com. We will see you in the next lesson.